I'm here with Natalie. Most of you might recognize her from Notre Dame, but she's here. Natalie, you're new to the Indiana Fever. What has been the biggest transition for you going from college to the professional level? Well, actually, the injury served as a good time as well because I got the time to kind of take in being a pro and, and being real life and being in real life and living on your own. Um, but just being able to watch uh, my teammates and people like you and people like Hatch that have done it for many years uh, has really made it easier to transition from being a college athlete to a pro. Most definitely. So tell us a little bit about your experience so far in training camp and doing all that stuff. Well, it's been exciting and it's been uh, nerve-wracking at the same time, um, but it's nice that uh, coming into the Coach White era that everyone's kind of new a little bit. Um, I know uh, many of the players have had her as an assistant coach, but with the new offense and the new tempo, it's, it's been nice that everyone's learning at the same time, uh, so we've kind of all, all got to experience at the same time. Um, but. It's been exciting. I think that's the biggest word. All right. And speaking of Notre Dame, you spent some time out there during the offseason. Tell us what you did. I was the director of operations, so I spent a lot of time taking care of other people. Uh, but it was great to have that time to uh, kind of set into living on your own and, and set into paying bills and, and being an adult uh, at the same time, as well as keeping my mind busy. When you have an injury like that, it's, it's hard to keep your mind busy and not let your mind wander. So uh, it, it kept me very occupied and kept me in basketball mode. Exactly. And I hear you're going to be leaving us for a little while. <laughs> Tell everybody what's going on with that. Uh, since I was 14, I've been playing with my Canadian national team. Uh, it's part of my identity. It's part of who I am. So um, I'm actually going to spend a couple uh, or two different periods, one for Pan Am Games and one for FIBA Americas. Um, I'll be back in Canada and competing with my national team. All right, that's exciting, and everybody, she's been looking great, great new face here at the Fever, and uh, check her out during the season. So that's a wrap. You got the inside look at the 2015 Indiana Fever Media Day. Thanks for joining me on the first episode of Bree TV for the season. Many more to come, and I hope to see you at our home opener on June 6th against the Minnesota Lynx.